Peppa's first sleepover. Here we have Peppa Pig with her teddy bear and Zoe Zebra. We also can see the moon and the stars. Let's count the stars. One, two, three. We have three stars. This one is the biggest and this one is the smallest. Let's see the story. Peppa is going to her very first sleepover at Zoe Zebra's house. Welcome to my sleepover, Zoe says. I'll pick you up in the morning, Mommy Pig says to Peppa Pig with a kiss. We have Mommy Pig, Peppa Pig and Zoe Zebra. Peppa Pig has an orange dress. Peppa has a pink one and Zoe Zebra is dressed with a red one. And all these little white dots are the stars because it is night. Rebecca Rabbit, Susie Sheep and Emily Elephant are already here. I've got my teddy, Peppa says. Zoe has her monkey, Rebecca has her carrot, Susie has her owl and Emily has her frog. Here it is, Mommy Zebra, we have Peppa Pig with her teddy bear, Zoe Zebra with her monkey, Rebecca Rabbit with her orange carrot, Susie Sheep with her owl and Emily Elephant with her green frog. You see the bags? We have two blue bags, one pink and one green. Don't stay up too late, girls, and don't be too loud. Daddy Zebra has to get up early to deliver the post. Mommy Zebra says oh, she turns out the lights. Zoe's baby twin sisters, Zuzu and Zaza, want to join the sleepover too. Sleepovers are only for big girls, Zoe says. It's Mommy Zebra and Mommy Zebra has how many children? Has one, two, three. Three children. These are the twins, Zaza and Zuzu. And they have some hearts on their pajamas. Zoe Zebra has a moon. And can we spot another heart here? Yes. On Peppa's pajamas. One, two, three. There are three hearts, a star on Rebecca Rabbit's dress, and we also have a flower on Emily Elephant, and an anchor on Susie Sheep. The twins begin to cry. You're so sweet and little, Peppa says. Can they stay? Rebecca asks. Okay, Zoe says to the twins, but you must not fall asleep. The twins start to cry. All of these are tears and Peppa wants them to stay. What should we do first? Susie asks. I'm having piano lessons. Listen, Zoe starts to pound on the keys. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Zoe Zebra is playing the piano. And all the other girls are listening to her. We have the twins, Emily, Peppa, Rebecca and Susie. They are all listening to Zoe Zebra's song. Mommy Zebra has woken up. Shh! You must be quiet so Daddy Zebra can sleep. Now, into your sleeping bags, please. Oh no! Mommy Zebra woken up because they were playing the piano. It was very noisy. Let's count the flowers on Mommy Zebra dress. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
She has 13 flowers on her dress. What do we do now? Peppa asks. At sleepovers, there's always a midday feast, Zoe says. It's when we eat things, Susie says, in a hushed voice. In secret! Here, the girls are in their sleeping bags. We have green, pink, red, pink, pink, blue, and orange. There are so many colors in here. Zoe says as she leads the girls to the kitchen. They each grab some delicious fruit, perfect for a midnight feast. The floorboard cracks. Oh no, Zoe Zebra tells the girls to be quiet so Mommy Zebra and Daddy Zebra don't wake up. Oh no, Mommy Zebra has woken up. You wake Daddy Zebra now. Who knows a bedtime story? The girls take turns. Once upon a time, there was a little fairy, Susie begins. And she lived in the forest, Peppa continues. And the fairy met a big monster who went roar. Emily says with a big elephant trumpet noise. Can you see Emily elephant's trumpet? Yes, it's this one. Oh dear, the noise has woken Daddy Zebra. Sorry, Daddy, Zoe says. There was a story about the fairy and the scary monster. And we want to know what happens next, Peppa says. Very well, Daddy Zebra sighs. The monster lifted up his great big hairy paws. Daddy Zebra has woken up. He has a light blue pajamas and a dark blue cap. On Daddy Zebra continues the story and walked along on his great big hairy feet and sang Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Daddy Zebra sings gently as he plays the piano. The girls are falling asleep as Daddy Zebra is playing the piano. Daddy Zebra's song has sent everyone to sleep. The end. Peppa goes to hospital. Today we are going to visit Peter Pony in hospital. Madame Gazelle tells the class. Pedro's leg is broken and the doctors are mending it. Peppa has never been to the hospital before. Except when I was born, of course. Peppa says, I'm wearing my nurse outfit. Susie Ship says, because hospitals are very serious. But when the class arrives to the children's ward, the walls are full of colors. Oh, they say, as they set off to find Pedro. Pedro is in bed with his leg in a plaster cast. Does it hurt? Zoe Zebra asks. It did at first, Pedro says, but not anymore. Do you want to draw on it? What's it like being in hospital? Peppa asks. It's great, replies Pedro. Nurse gives me stickers and comes whenever I press this button. Beep, beep. Another nurse comes to a trolley. Lunch time, she says. Spaghetti and sponge pudding, please, says Pedro. Wow, you get to eat in bed, gasps Peppa. 
Dr. Brown Bear visits Pedro. You're nearly better and ready to go home. The bell rings. Visiting time has ended. Get well soon, wave the children. A few days later, Pedro is back. Where is your plaster cast? asks his friends. My leg is all better. It's super leg now, Pedro says. Thank you for visiting me in hospital. The end.